But then I saw something. I saw that the presence of God can be active and still not do you good unless you learn how to engage it. Glory to God. And I couldn't articulate it on Wednesday, but I think uh, um, the Spirit of God has helped me this morning. Look at this fan. Look, everybody look at this fan. This fan is not uh, working right now. Um, who can say why? There are three things that may be, or maybe four. Okay, let's remove the fourth one. The fourth one is that if the fan is not good, the fan is good, but there are three things that may be responsible for it's not working. What are they? It's not connected to power one. Eh? Number two, it is connected to power, but it is not switched on. And then number three, it is not turned on here. It could be connected to power, but the switch there is off. That's number two. Number three, it could be connected to power. The switch is on, but it's not turned here. It takes the... So, so if it's not turned on here, the power... Power is in this cord. Is that not correct? But it takes turning it on for it to work. It takes the word of God to turn on the active presence of God. Genesis chapter 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form and, 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 uh, and void. And the darkness was upon the deep. And the spirit of God moved. Somebody say moved. Say it again, moved. Can you say that? And the spirit of God was overing the face, over the face of the waters. So the spirit of God was already active, moving. But nothing was done until the word was supplied. What was the word? Let there be light. So the spirit could be hovering. The presence could be activated, but it needs to be engaged. Are you still here this morning? It takes the word of God to engage the activated presence of God. Glory to God. So this morning I came to encourage you to become a word addict. Somebody say word addict. Why must you get become a word addict? Why must you become married to the word? Number one, because you are made by the word and from the word. The word of God is the stuff with which your spirit is made. Your newborn spirit. And it takes, uh, like Miles Moreau made us to understand, every, God's pattern is that whatever God makes anything from, that he uses to sustain it. So he created, he commanded the waters to bring forth the fish. So he left the fish in the water and it is the water that sustains the fish. Are you still here? He commanded the ground to bring forth the trees and it takes the ground to sustain the tree. Your spirit is brought forth, First Peter chapter 1 verse 3, from the word of God and as such it takes the word of God to sustain your spirit. Glory to God. I said glory to God. Verse 23, sorry. First Peter chapter 1 verse 23. Having been, can we read it together? I want to go. Having been born again, not of corruptible seed, but incorruptible, through what? The word of God. You are born of the word. Somebody say, I'm born of the word. If you are born of the word, you will necessarily need to be sustained by the word. Number one. Why, one reason why you must not joke with the world, why you must not be lazy with the world, why you must not be a Christian, try to be a Christian who doesn't have an active relationship with the world. You are made out of the world. Glory to God. I said glory to God. I said glory to God. Number two, the word of God is your life. 
Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 46 to 47. Deuteronomy 32, 46 to 47. Moses said to them, set your hearts on all the words which I testify among you today, which you shall command your children to be careful to observe all the words of this law. For, can we read 47 together? I want to go. For it is not a futile thing for you, because it is your word. Oh, King James says, it is not a mere thing. I like that. Somebody said the word of God is not a mere thing. It's not just any other thing. It is your life. Somebody said the word is my life. He said, and by this word, you shall prolong your days. Oh, glory to God. Your, the word is your sustainer. When the more and more you drift from it, the more you lose ground. Glory to God. Is somebody still here? So the word of God is the stuff with which you were made. The word of, so the word of God is your life. Somebody say the word is my life. John chapter 6 verse 63. The words that I speak unto you, they are what? Spirit and they are life. Number three, why must you get married to the word of God? The word of God is your wisdom. The word of God is your wisdom. Colossians chapter 3 verse 16. Let the word of Christ do what? Dwell in you richly in how many wisdom? All wisdom. All wisdom. All wisdom. Praise God. I said praise the Lord. You know, we were at a family meeting yesterday. And you know, we, we you know, at some point we're just going back and remembering where God raised us up. I, I, I hope I will not forget. Sometime during this during this um do you have the picture now emmanuel do you have the picture now can can you show it to me my brother williams went to our house where we grew up not too long ago i think in october last year and he took the picture of that place praise the lord <laughs> this one i was i was three months when we moved into this one, this first one, this is the, uh, yeah, one, okay, is there an AC there? Uh, okay, I was surprised to see AC there. AC for where in those days? I think one big man must have moved in there now and put AC there. Praise God. The, where I, from around three months of age till only God knows, it's just, this is 2B, this is like 4B. And we were living in 4A. So we moved from here to that bigger one. You know, that two-story building behind. Can you see that one? This is where we used to pass before. So I asked the man, so where is the, where is the passageway? And I said, they still pass there. Can't you see? It looks like a dunk, 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 dump here. Listen, if you keep making, you don't have any excuse. I was not born with silver spoon. I was not born with golden spoon. Listen to me, there, were, there are people whose upbringing are worse than your own. The word raised us up. Are you still here? Are you still here? I see the word raising you up. In the name of the Lord Jesus. So I was saying that the word of God is your wisdom. The word of God is your wisdom. You can't be wiser than God though. Growing up, living in this house, we got born again. I was 17. Uh, 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 um, I think Uche was 19. I would carry Bible. They would be calling me pastor, 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 pastor. Some of them, if they, they see me today, they can't come close. The word raised us up. God's word will raise you up. In the name of Jesus, while they were fledging and enjoying life, practicing what they thought was wisdom, we were practicing wisdom of Jehovah. The wisdom that raises. So when I see young people come to church, and they keep coming, but they are not listening to what I, they have been taught. I, I'm, am, I'm amazed and amused. Because, like I will say, it's better to be a paraku unbeliever. That you, have, you don't even know the road to church than to be somebody who is in church 
and you are not listening to the word of God, you don't regard the word of God, you are just cheating yourself. Are you still here? Are you still here? Glory to God. Somebody say, God's word is my wisdom. What else? The word of God is, God uses his word to build you up. The word of God is the building block of your destiny. Acts chapter 20 verse 32. Acts chapter 20 verse 32. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Can we read it together? I want to go. So now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to do what? Uh, which is able to do what? Build you up. The word of God can build you up. It has capacity to build you up. Glory to God. I said glory to God. Has capacity to build you up. Recently, you know, so I was taking a call on family health, and my mom was seated next to me. And then she heard me say, okay, you are coming from, calling from UK, blah, 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 and all that. So when I told her, she said, ah, so you are the doctor of the old world. I said, yes, praise the Lord. <laughs> oh, glory to God. Influence every corner of the world. From that humble beginning, you will miss it. I said, you will not miss it. In the name of Jesus. God's word built us into it. God's word will build you. Amen. It is able. Somebody say it's able Amen. to build you up. Next one. What does the word of God, what else can the word of God do for you? It can hand your inheritance to you. Amen. Your inheritance keeps being a mirage. Something you only hear of and never handle. Until you learn to start encountering the word of God. Glory to God. Somebody still here this morning. It will build you up and give you your inheritance. In the name of Jesus. I see the promises of Jehovah being handed over to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. There are people here. You have been reading it in the Bible. Before long it will become your portion. Before long, it will become your portion. In the name of Jesus. I, I like our, our, one of our fathers in the Lord, Dr. Oyedeko. From almost, I started listening to him from 89, year 1989. I was one year in the Lord then. And the man will quote that Deuteronomy scripture. If you obey the word and act into his commandment, God will uh, lift you up far above, above. That's how he calls it. Far above the nations. Far above the nations. That I will use. This man doesn't understand English. Praise the Lord. But he will far above. Is he far above now or not? He's far above now. <laughs> God will lift you far above. <laughs> In that name, this word is powerful, oh. That's why he's able to talk to them anyhow. They can't do anything to him. Because he's not their mate. He's not their rank. What is keeping him there is not... Uh, he didn't get it from anybody. He got it from heaven. Are you still here? The word of God lives. Let me tell your neighbor, don't joke with the word. Say it again. Don't joke with the word. And you know what one of my friends told me? He said, God's best is never in the past. It's always in the future. If the word of God so lifted our fathers this way, guess, guess, guess what? The word of God would lift some of us even higher than them. That, um, I think the person I'm prophesying to, maybe the person is on this side. Help me say God's word lives. So the word of God is the building block of your life. It's also the blueprint of your destiny. Many people are confused. They don't know what to do. They are just confused. They don't know where to turn to. They don't know what to make of their lives. They are confused. There are persons who are working in a bank now that their destiny does not tally with bank at all. And they've been there for years, maybe even decades, just wasting away. Praise the Lord. 
there are some who are into some other things now. Their destiny does not, that's the one that God wrote down against them, does not go in that direction at all. But they're just, they're struggling. If you are, if you mingle with the word of God regularly, you will, you will get to know the blueprint for your life. How did I sometimes tell family health? I told you. All of a sudden, I would dream that I didn't finish medical school. Have I told you before? And then after some months, I would dream again. After some, one was so vivid. I was sleeping. So I stood up and I was what? So I woke up and stopped for me. I said, did I finish medical school? This is almost seven years after marriage. She, she, too, she stood up immediately. Said, because that question is very strange. The first thing shows you. I hope there's nothing because you are not talking. Is this dream? Until I began to ask God, what is it that you are saying? What is it you are saying? What is it? And then little by little, it, didn't, it wasn't a day. It just led me into, into my, in, in, in business, they call it, is it the, the blue ocean experience? Or something like that, or maybe the red ocean experience. It, uh, or, eh? Blue ocean. Where that's, they, they, they say in blue oceans, very well, that whales uh, sp- uh, swim in parts of the ocean where they are almost the only ones swimming. Praise the Lord. God is bringing you into your own blue ocean. In the name of Jesus. He made it custom made and forced it on me. Am I communicating? It will force your own on you. But it's the word of God that will give you that direction. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. The thoughts that I know, the thoughts that I have towards you. Thoughts of peace, not of evil. To give you a hope and a future. Somebody say I receive it. What else about the word of God? The word of God is your constitution for living. That's why you must not joke with it. It's the rules and regulations for kingdom existence, for winning in life. Praise the Lord. Second Timothy chapter 3 verse 16. Second Timothy chapter 3 verse 16. The word of God is the is the compendium of the rules and regulations for victory in life. Can we read it together? I want to go. All scripture is given by what? Inspiration. And is profitable for what? Doctrine. For reproof. For correction. For instruction in righteousness. The word of God is your constitution for life. Praise the Lord. Don't be a Christian. I, I see some Christians. They select the word of God. When it comes to the promises, they claim it. Whether it's in Genesis or Revelation or if it's a promise, they claim it. Praise the Lord. If, for instance, they will quickly quote Deuteronomy 28. Uh, uh, all these blessings shall come upon me and follow me and all that. But when it comes to what they should do and obey, they say it's not, it's not, in, the, it's not in the New Testament. So I won't obey it. <laughs> But he's obeying, the, he's claiming the Old Testament promise. Glory to God. Are you still here? Are you still here? Without being tempted to go into tradition, what you know about the word of God, embrace it wholeheartedly. God wants to help you. Are you still here? Don't mind what anybody anywhere is saying. That it doesn't matter. Who told them it matters? Praise the Lord. Every time you keep coming against the word of God, you are enduring your destiny. Literally. Literally eroding the foundation of your life. Is somebody still here? The word of God talks about giving. Develop giving. Develop giving. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say the word of God works. Makulara satoloro shata. I remember around about 2012, 2013, I was in depression. Only work, no, no result to show for it. People calling me, they will not allow my phone to rest. So I literally slipped into depression until the Holy Spirit told me, you've forgotten about confession. So in 2014, I took my iPad and I prepared confessions. One of the confessions, one hour, 35 minutes. Very dangerous. So, get confessions. 
gather scriptures on prosperity, on fruitfulness, on increase, on, on, just, on favor. Just gather them. And I will speak them. I will confess almost three hours per day in those days. After like six months, things began to change. And they have remained changed. He was telling you here that no matter what you are faced with, whether it's poverty, I challenge you, sir. You are faced with poverty or lack. Gather scriptures on, on prosperity, on financial increase. And begin to speak it. And the part that you should do, do it. If that challenge lasts up to one year from now, stop coming to this church. I'm not joking. The word of God is basuta kalara koshatara. He can crack anything. He said, is my word not like armor? That it will crack any rock? He said, is it not like fire? That it will burn anything burnable. Glory to God. But at last, people are always seeking cheap ways out. They, they, they want to go somewhere where one man of God will say, take it, take it, take it. And then they will take it and everything will serve. Listen to me. Listen, listen. This is how it works. God can do miracles for you here and there. You and I are not supposed to live on miracles. We are not. We are supposed to live on, on principles. You are working it. When, if you are a miracle addict, looking for miracle everywhere, you are like a farmer who refuses to cultivate his ground. And every time, at the end, at the, at the summer, during harvest, he will go to his farm to see whether it has grown. And then maybe one of them says, Ah, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And then next year, he wants to repeat the same thing. But if he wants to be ever sure of food for himself and his family, he will carry his hoe. Is that not correct? Then he will carry his basket of seed. And Mark chapter 4 says, The word is the seed. The word is the seed. Anything, anything, gather it. Gather not a few. Gather not a few. From Genesis to Revelation, look for it. If you don't know what to gather, go to Pastor Polabi. He knows how to gather scriptures. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And begin to speak it. Begin to announce it. Begin to align your destiny with it and see how, how weak the devil is. Glory to God. Without missing words, sirs, if you are not into the Bible, you are limiting your destiny. You are. And we live in a generation that it should be so easy. There. Only some gigabytes. The whole Bible is there. Just be plugging it, be playing it. Take your phone. So, what I did, I made those confessions into that iPad. And sometimes, I, when I'm in, not in the mood of talking, I'll just plug it. I'll be hearing, 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 hearing it. Sometimes I'll, I'm speaking it, speaking it, speaking it. The devil went to hell from where he was coming from. Is somebody still here? What else does the word of God do for you? It renews your mentality. Psalm 19, verse 7. The word of God renews your mentality. And without renewal of your mind, your life cannot transform. Because Romans chapter 12 says, Be not conformed to this world, but be what? Renewed in the spirit of your mind. Praise the Lord. Okay, so, so what will help you renew your mind? Psalm 19, verse 7. Can we read it together? I want to go. The, The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. What's your soul? The, the combination of your mind, your will, your emotion. It converts it. It renews it. It changes your mentality. Praise the Lord. I said, praise God. Are you still here, somebody? Are you sure you are still here? When you are thinking, you'll be thinking differently. I told you how I've just moved into where I moved to. And I love the place so much. 
So quickly I called the person, the agent who took us there. So is there no land here? She said there's land. Okay, okay. After two days, I called me. He said, well, so can I see? So he brought a brochure. And I saw that you could do it for two years. Eight million. So I called, I said, go and call your project manager. Went to call the person. And I said, I'm going to take two. Praise God. And I will do it for three years. The man said, hey, hey, I won't agree. I won't agree. So you, you have agreed, though. You have agreed. Because the person, um, I carry the presence of God. After like 30 minutes, I don't know whether he really went to consult or he just changed his mind. He said, we have agreed to your proposal. Praise God. When I saw it, it's not what we could do per month. It's done. Glory to God. But meanwhile, some people have been living there for 10 years. Or maybe five years, renting a house there. It has never occurred to them that they can get a property there. I'm hardly one week there and I put my head. I call it putting my head. Praise God. Yeah. Because this is the way God works. Emmanuel, come. If I say, help me, oh, stand, stand as help me carry this seat. Help me carry this seat. Help me carry this seat. You won't move until I say, help me to carry this seat. Is that not correct? And then you move. Or you move now, Emmanuel. <laughs> um, it's not clear to you. You've not seen it done at the market. Big basket full of pineapple. The woman has to bend down first and try to carry it before the passerby will help him. It is what you try to carry this year that God will help you carry. So, myself now, I've carried 16 hem pro, uh, water property. I will tell you the testimony. Are you still here? Look at somebody near you. If they look like a family man, tell them, make sure you buy real estate this year. I saw some hype people say it to themselves. <laughs> I like that. They are using faith. That's how I've done my things. At nev at all the things I've ever done, I've never got that. Hey, he's complaining. I don't do that. Never. I shook my head there. I shook my feet there. Praise the Lord. And the rest is this. Is somebody still here this morning? How did I go into that? It is the word of God that taught me to behave like that. Am I communicating? I'm not afraid of anything. My mentality is changed. Some people, if they want to do a project of 8 million, until the last cowboy is there, they won't stand. Ah, ah, ah. What if, what if, what if, what? What if what? What can happen? What can possibly happen? It's a mentality. Am I communicating? Some people now, the reason you have not started your business, you have been carrying the document all over the place for many years now, is because uh, I'm looking for capital. I'm looking for capital. I'm looking for capital. I'm looking for, ca for capital. I'm looking for capital. I'm looking for capital. Looking for capital. <laughs> Sometimes I don't even know whether it's capital or carpenter or carpentry you are calling. Uh, what's the money? 250. You have 50,000. Go and start. Are you still here? Go and start. And see how God helps people to carry things. This year will help you. Go and start the school that he has told you to start. Go and start it. I was trying to help somebody plant a school in, in Lake Aja. And she had the kind of mentality I'm talking about now. Eh, eh, I don't know, Pastor Chris, I can't do that too. I think I need like 25 million. I, need like, I said, how much do you have? I have, you, I have 2 million. Okay, be saving it. Praise God, continue. Be saving. Meanwhile, some people would take that 2 million and go and rent two rooms and start. 
by the time you are ready with your 25 million, they have bought massive acres of land. Are you still here? Somebody do like this. My mentality must change this year. Say it again. My mentality must change this year. Say it one more time. What else? Why must you get married to the word of God? Is your source of light. God's word will give you direction. You are going to enjoy direction this year. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 109 verse 105. Psalm 119, sorry. Verse 105. Let's read it one to go. Your word. People who are into the word don't walk in darkness. Praise the Lord. They don't walk in darkness. They are not necessarily unnecessarily confused because the word is light. This year you will enjoy light. That amen is weak. You are going to enjoy light. Your family will enjoy light. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Somebody say I will enjoy light. God's word is establishes you in holiness and sanctification. God's word establishes you in holiness and sanctification. See some children of God, they, 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 they are not in control of themselves. What they know they shouldn't be doing, they, they can't help themselves. It's because of lack of word. Praise the Lord. I, I remember many years ago, Reverend George Adigboy, the their father in uh, Rema Chapel, he was talking about committing fornication. In those days, the man has even mellowed now. In those days, in one message, he will quote almost 200 scriptures. Any word he picks, he will quote like five scriptures, and then he will continue with his statement. Then he will quote. <laughs> so he said, he was talking about fornication. He said, I can't imagine myself committing fornication. He said, by the time I remove my shirt, five scriptures will flow out. <laughs> he said, by the time I'm removing my pants, another five scriptures will flow out. He said, by the time I want to lock the door, another five scriptures will flow out. He said, hey, I can't. It's lack of word that makes us liable to temptations. Lack of word. Level, very low level of word. Are you still here? So this year, if you want to be established in sanctification, get married to the word. Glory to God. I said glory to God. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 26 and John 17, 17. Ephesians 5, 26. G that Jesus might what? Sanctify and cleanse the church with the washing of water. By what? By the word. John 17, 17 sanctify them by your what? Truth. Your word is truth. Your word is truth. Sanctify them. Your word is truth. Praise the Lord. By the time you look, uh, one of those places, I, I can't remember the verse now, he said, your word have I hidden in my heart that I may not what? Sin against you. All these uh, falling and rising, falling and rising, falling and rising. The person is, is in danger of going to hell if anything happens to the person's life. Is, is wordlessness. So this year, as I round up, I thought I would be able to finish this. Praise the Lord. Make sure you become a reader of the word of God. Somebody say a reader. Read the word of God. Read the word of God. I asked that our brother to put some Bible uh, study outlines on our WhatsApp. If your number is on our, is, um, you, um, how do I say it now? It's on our, you are, you are in our WhatsApp group. Can I see your hand? Okay, take, oh, no, no, put it down. If you are not in Edstone Church or Edstone uh, Church Workers WhatsApp group, can I see your hand? So put it up, put it up well. Put it up well. Eh? 
Okay, church group. If you are not in Airstone Church WhatsApp group, can I see your hand? Let me see it. Let me see it. Let me see it. Why? I've been announcing it. Put, put your number. In fact, take a paper now and write your number and give it. Let them hand it over to Pastor, Pastor Folabi. I, there are four, um, I keep forgetting what they call these things, like devotionals. Four. In our, it's deliberate. Recently, I asked them to add, to add the one for, for, for redeem. Open them to add it there. It, it's deliberate. I like, I like the kind of Christians they are breeding in redeem. But besides that, I like the spirit that that man carried. Carries one of the most anointed human beings on planet Earth. If, because, listen, this is how it works. If you keep being exposed to the word of somebody, you will catch the person's spirit. Because the words that I speak to you, they are what? Spirit and life. Write your number, give them. So, so it, reading those things... And studying that Bible, reading the passages that uh, 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 Brother Chico will help us put there, cannot take up to more than 30 minutes in a day. Praise the Lord. But if you are doing that, you are building your spirit. Praise the Lord. You are building your spirit. Another person there, Kenneth, Kenneth uh, and uh, Gloria Copeland, this one's as at like 15 years ago, thereabout, had given over 27 private jets out. They have given it out. One of the most prosperous preacher uh, couples on planet Earth. You keep reading from them, keep reading from them. Their spirit will rub up on you, praise God. Those things are deliberate. There's Smith Wiggles was there, praise the Lord. Very powerful man of faith. You read those things. I was saying on Wednesday that in those days we used to say that black men don't read. If you want to hide uh, something, right, hide it in the middle, in the pages of a book because black men don't read. Now, that statement cannot be absolutely true any longer because we read. Everybody here reads. Even if you, are, you don't pick a book to read, you, do you know the volumes of things you read on WhatsApp every day? And Facebook. Man swallows an anaconda. Quickly, you go there. In Jibushi, a man found an anaconda and swallowed it. You read it. Two minutes have gone. And then you see another one. Anaconda swallows a house. Ah! You read it. All this information that can take you anywhere anywhere Uche, why are you laughing there are funnier things you, you see all manners of things that you are want to say <laughs> listen have you noticed listen to me people of god have you noticed how i keep coming against um not social media not because I, I don't do it, or I don't want to do it at all again. It's because it's taking more of your time. It, it, yes, yes, people are no longer productive. And it's actually a sign of the end time. Bible says in those days, people would develop itchy ears. The, uh, ever learning, but never coming to the knowledge of the truth. Ever learning. They are ever learning. Ever learning. Learn anything. Jonathan. The fool. By the time you add how much time you are spent in reading in a day. Sometimes four hours. And yet you never read the word of God. <laughs> the thing that can change your life. The only thing that can change your life permanently. Are you still here? Read the Bible. Let me tell your neighbor, read the Bible. Meditate on it. Spend time meditating on the word of God. Praise the Lord. We're going to stop here. I have 25 reasons why you should be addicted to the word. We'll stop here. We'll continue on Wednesday. Praise the Lord. Somebody say I'm blessed. Say this year, it's not possible that I be stagnated. I am moving forward 
by fire and by force. Say it loud, by fire and by force. In the name of Jesus, the presence of God, the presence of God, and the power of the word of God is pushing me forward. In the name of Jesus, by the time I look at where I'm coming from, at the end of this year, I'd be so surprised. People will be amazed at me in the name of Jesus. I prophesy change round about me. Things are changing for me. Say it loud. Things are changing for me. By reason of the word. In John chapter 1, I think verse 14. Bible says, John 1, 14 quickly. Praise God. Before we see that, John 1, 14. Glory to God. Nagalarabushtalarabusa. John 1, 14. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Just wanted to show you something. If Jesus, who was the word personified, couldn't do without cultivating a habit of reading and meditating in the word, you cannot survive without it. Look at it. And the word became what? Flesh and dwelt amongst us. Jesus literally is the word of God made flesh. And in Luke chapter 4, I think verse 14 or 18, Bible says, and as his custom was, he came into the synagogue and he took the Bible for to read. As his custom was, praise the Lord. Luke 16, 4, 16 quickly. As his custom was, as his custom was, as his custom was, as his custom was. He came to Nazareth where he had been brought up. And as his what? As his what? The, that, the person who is the word become flesh. He still had to be reading the word customarily. What's, an, what's a more frequent word or recent word for custom? Habitually, he still had to be mingling with the word habitually. That's why he had the level of victory he walked in. You are walking in victory in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. All right, put your hands together for Jesus if you enjoy the word of God. Can we see our